For nearly a decade, we've watched the Saints as they rose from humble beginnings to becoming an unstoppable force of nature. In that time, we've seen how the Saints rose to power. We've seen how the Saints enact vengeance. We've even seen how the Saints united both humanity and Velociraptors. But for the first time ever, I share with you their most important story yet. For this, my friends, is how the Saints saved Christmas. Or what? Oh, uh, wasn't planning on it. Come on, don't be such a Grinch. I don't even know what that means. What sort of childhood did you have? I just think there's more important things to think about than some bullshit holiday. Looks like someone never got on the nice list. Ian, see, that's the thing. There is no nice list. So Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Yule, Festivus? You don't care about any of it? That's right. You don't like the songs? Nope. You don't like the gift giving? I already take whatever I want. I said giving. Whatever. You don't get excited about setting up the Nightblade Nativity every year? Uh, that's slightly intriguing, but no. What about Santa? Fuck Santa! What's happening? Were we hit? No, the proximity alarm didn't go off. This is something different. Shandy? We don't have a lot of time. Claus is coming. What? Claus. A warlord from my time. Your future. By the time we learned about him, it was too late. He was too powerful. The only chance we had to stop him was to send me back here to warn you. Oh, wait. If you could go back in time, why didn't you go back even further and warn us about Zinyak? Isn't that a little more important? You don't get it. This isn't about Earth. Come midnight, Christmas Day, Santa Claus is coming to town, and unless we stop him, he is going to put the universe on the naughty list. And trust me, you don't want to be on the naughty list. Sorry I asked. So Santa's evil? No, Zinyak's had Santa trapped for decades, slowly but surely degrading his mind. If we don't free him soon, it'll be too late, and he'll never be jolly old Saint Nick again. Guys, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. All right, all right, I'll save Santa. Oh, look, another terrible fucking sweater. Thanks, Kinsey. In Santa's nightmare world, the holiday spirit doesn't exist. So if you want to bring it back, you wear whatever it takes. Real guns aren't allowed here, so we'll have to check the store and do a little holiday shopping. Also, be careful of your language around Santa. We're trying to stay on his nice list. You can't be serious. Come on, the town department store is just ahead. Why all the people? They're here for the Crimson Cowboy Carbine Action 200 shot range model air rifle. So 
Sometimes I'm naughty. You know that. Dear, what causes? Look. Those who are naughty look to the sky and see your doom with the naked eye. You willfully break the world's laws. Now feel the wrath of the mighty claw. Well, fudge. Come, come as fast as you can. You can't stop me or my gingerbread men. Am I supposed to be scared of cookies? Forget it, I'm shooting this guy down. Wait! Claw is still too strong, and he'll shoot your eye out! Another terrible fucking sweater, thanks, Kinsey. In Santa's nightmare world, the holiday spirit doesn't exist. So if you want to bring it back, you wear whatever it takes. Real guns aren't allowed here, so we'll have to check the store and do a little holiday shopping. Also, be careful of your language around Santa. We're trying to stay on his nice list. You can't be serious. Come on, the town department store is just ahead. Why all the people? They're here for the Crimson Cowboy Carbine Action 200 Shot Range Model Air Rifle. Crimson Cowboy! What have you done? Sometimes I'm naughty. You know that. Deal with what causes. Look. Those who are naughty look to the sky and see your doom with the naked eye. You willfully break the world's laws. Now feel the wrath of the mighty claws. Well, fudge. Come, come as fast as you can. You can't stop me or my gingerbread men. Scared of cookies? Forget it, I'm shooting this guy down. Wait! Cloth is still too strong, and you'll shoot your eye out! Really, you? 
I always warn children about the dangers of such toys. But why do you look so thin? The holiday spirit doesn't exist here anymore. Claus made sure of that. So, Santa, how do we stop him? Start by ringing the holiday bells in the town park. That should bring a little spirit back to the people. Bells and then let's kill Claus. My dear Shandy, don't let your metallic parts turn your heart cold as well. Remember the holiday spirit you felt when you were younger. You know my name? Sam. I'm sorry. I've had no choice but to harden myself to fight the world. I, I forgot how I used to be. Don't worry. That same girl is still inside you. In fact, I'll bet there'll be a brand new hacky sack under the tree for you this year. Thanks, Santa. I hope future Shandy's right. began ringing in the cheer, but more needs to be done. Such as? There was once a theater in town that played one of the great holiday classics, but the projector was stolen and frozen in a pool by claws. Find that, and the people will remember what they loved about the holidays. A movie? We're playing a movie? It is not just a movie. It is a symbol of all that is good about this time of year. Don't worry. We can get the projector.
get through this ice. Now, we must get into the drive-in theater and turn on the magic of the season. It's just a film. Oh, it's more than simply that. It creates a feeling of joy and happiness that comes with remembering the warmth this season brings to those who embrace it. If you say so. Yes, now quit being a Grinch. I told the other you, I don't know what that means. Spirit, it stings and burns, but that's not enough for the tide to turn. We brought him down, but he's not defeated yet. The electricity here just isn't enough to keep the projector working. We need more. I noticed precisely that while viewing your progress from our ship. Meet me at the clock tower, and I will increase the power. It is a pleasure to meet you, Seth. Okay, where is he? Oh, at the top of the clock tower. Keep Cross's minions from hurting me while I set up a conductor on this antenna. Why do that? A storm is coming. Lightning is sure to strike. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. You must be joking. Yeah. You know what happened to the North Pole? Sadly, I do. Cross has shown me images of an attack on my workshop. My head elf, Twinkle, has even joined with him. He's the one who took my arm. I'm sorry, my friend, but there is hope. The rest of the elves are being led by Tinson against causes not even. Mary? <laughs> Don't worry about Mrs. Claude. I'm sure she can take care of herself and the North Pole until we arrive. That's good to hear. Claus gets his hands on the North Pole, and we're in serious trouble. Come up here. I need your help for this to work. I need you to put your tongue on the pole to help conduct the electricity. The fuck you said? Not in front of Santa. Sid is crazy. This is revenge for all the things I've done to him. I know it. No. Well then, I dare you. I'm not doing that. But this has to be done. Fine. I double dog dare. I still don't think this is going to work. Spirits alive, but still I live. Come face me now. There's punishment to you. Don't let him fool you. He's weakening. Keep your suit on, Santa. I got this. The 
stay here, you cannot say. I will not go to an early grave. That's what you think, Claus. Wait! What are you doing? Oh my god! Where did he go? You cannot defeat Claus by doing naughty deeds, for those are what he thrives on. Claus is going up to the North Pole, and we have to stop him. Indeed, you are correct. We cannot leave Mary and the Elves to face him alone. First Santa, now the North Pole. I finally get to see him before it's been destroyed. <laughs> and perhaps make sure it never is. Thank <laughs> you.